I want to start with what lies ahead for you. I mean, you're obviously a company that's intimately tied to uh, the industrial manufacturing base, global supply chains. So from a macro perspective, we would have been talking to you about a phase one trade deal, I think, if we weren't talking to you about a virus that may be shutting down one of the globe's uh, largest economies. Where are you, where on your risk profile are, are those issues today? Well, there, there remains a lot of uncertainty um, in the manufacturing environment around uh, the uh, world. We do see a reduction in some of the key uh, production indicators, like industrial production, which is what our performance is most correlated to. And then uh, you have the additional disruptions, uh, and uh, we're following the uh, coronavirus uh, situation very closely. Within manufacturing, however, there are areas of growth, and so um, areas like our new information solutions and connected services offering, life sciences, um, water treatment, these are all areas that we still see growth regardless of what the general macro is doing. What about your inorganic investments? Will they help offset some of these headwinds? Because we saw that you left your organic growth guidance flat. Right, uh, and, and um, our overall guidance for uh, growth and performance for the year is reaffirmed. So it's unchanged from what we presented to investors in November. But we are seeing uh, some very positive contribution from inorganic growth, and uh, primarily due to the joint venture with Schlumberger, Sensia, that we announced in October. Uh, we saw a great first quarter uh, with them. And uh, we expect that to continue to have a good contribution of double-digit growth uh, through the year. We also made an acquisition of a cybersecurity company and an Indian company that specializes in delivery of informa information solutions. So we're using all our strengths to win. Tell me what you're seeing globally and whether uh, the non-North American market is a source of strength on the investment front, because we have seen plans to invest in uh, capital equipment in the U.S. lag a little bit. Are you seeing stronger uh, kind of food chain outlook elsewhere? Well, we, um, Asia was uh, a good grower for us in the quarter. We saw mid-single-digit growth in Asia. Uh, China grew for us. Uh, India was double-digit growth. And we also saw a contribution from other countries in the region. One uh, in particular was uh, in the growing electric vehicle market. Uh, battery assembly is a good application for us. And we saw strong contribution uh, from Asia in the quarter in that application. When it comes to China, just to clarify, are you making any adjustments to your manufacturing or supply chains given the ongoing coronavirus outbreak? Well, the, the first thing that we're concentrating on is keeping our employees safe and healthy. Uh, that's uh, job number one for us, and uh, we've made, we've taken actions in that respect because China is an important uh, location for our worldwide uh, footprint. What does that we mean? Are so are the employees not going to work? Uh, employees uh, are delaying coming back from uh, uh, the Chinese uh, Lunar New Year, mm -hmm. among other things, and we're monitoring the situation on an hourly basis uh, to make sure that we're taking appropriate action. Now, we don't expect the um, coronavirus to impact our performance financially in the quarter, but as you know, it's an extremely dynamic situation. We're watching and we're taking appropriate actions.